Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here. The video I have for you today is going to be going over a first look at the Schlage SC1 Lishi 2-in-1 Pick and Decoder. You've seen in previous videos me featuring the KW1, and I am just so excited to get this package open, and we're going to take a closer look at it in just a second. Please stay tuned. I'm so excited to get this Lishi SC1 2-in-1 pick and decoder out of the bag and start to look at the tool, how it comes straight from the factory. So when we get the bag opened up, the first thing we're going to see is how well protected it comes when it is shipped. It comes in a very hard plastic case, which is going to keep the tool very safe. Because you do not want to have any part of the tool bend because the decoding part could be affected, so I'm really happy to see how strong of a shipping case that it comes in. So in order to get it open, we're just going to slide this open right here, and then through shipping, the allen wrench may have shifted around and that will quickly fall out. And then you can snap your leashy tool right out of the holder here. It just snaps right into place, so you can just find a little area and get it to detach. So one thing to take into mind when you're getting this tool is that it is for Schleg SC1 locks only. That is the only keyway that this is going to work on because the tip itself here is specifically designed to fit into that lock. When you flip the tool open, you're going to see this area here, which is going to be the tensioner, which is going to help you tension in clockwise and counterclockwise. And then when we take a very close look at the tip, we're going to start to see a little metal area moving around. That's going to be the pick itself. This pick is going to align up very specifically with an area right on the bottom here, which you'll be able to see, that will be utilized to decode and see where you are inside of the lock. There are going to be several measurements that line up. You can see one, two, three, four, five. That is going to line up with the key pins one through five going across, as you can see on this plug here, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can see on the sides 0 through 9, Schleg uses key pens that are depths 0 through 9, and when you go to do the decoding process, that is going to be precisely what is used to figure out the length of the key pen. So what is a big game changer about the Lishi tools, which you may have seen in other videos, is the fact that it can really make it easy for you to pick the lock and then decode it in just a few seconds. In order to start to decode this lock, I'm going to need to get it open by a means that is not using the key. Right now I'm going to try to get it open by single pin picking. And I'm going to start off with key pin number one, which does not feel like it's binding. Two, three, binding up a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little click. I'm going to now move on to four. Got a good click on four. Good click on five. Four. Three, got a little click, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, got a click, one, got a click, and the lock is now opened up. As you might have been able to tell, when I was picking this lock open with the Lishi tool, I was not practicing the most controlled and precise picking. That is a great example of how this tool can really help a novice learn to open up a lock rather quickly, because all I did was continue to pick down the stack until the lock opened up, finding one binding pin at a time. I was able to get the lock open in under a minute, and that really shows how well this tool can be used to help someone pick open a lock that is one of the most commonly found locks in North America in a residential setting. So when we get to go to the decoding aspect, what we're going to need to do is have the lock in the open position that you see here, and you need to have it opened without the key so you'll be able to put this tool inside. And then you're going to line it up with the first indicator, which is going to be key pin 1, and then we're going to do one key pin at a time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift down on the indicator until we see where it stops. As you can tell on key pin 1 it is going to line up with the marking of a 6 cut so that's going to indicate that for key pin number 1 we're going to need a number 6 size key pin. And then we're going to go 
over to 2, and then we're going to lower it down like we did before, and now we're going to see that that's going to line up with the 7 marker, so that means we're going to need a 7 key pen. Going over to 3, that goes all the way down to what looks like a 3 key pen, and then we're going to go over to 4, which looks like it goes over to a 5 key pen, and then we're going to go over to 5, which looks like it's right in the same place, which goes over to a 5 cut. So one thing that's going to be difficult when you're first getting used to this tool is the fact that you're going to need to really read these very carefully because of the fact that they are such small little markings. But Schleg has 0 through 9 cuts, so compared to a quick set, there's going to be less room, so it makes sense that it's going to be a little bit less area for you to read on. But we are able to quickly decode this lock as a 67355, and I'll go through it one more time. So we got a 67355. And in order to use this tool, all we did was we inserted it into the lock, we were able to pick it, and then decode it in a few minutes. What is very powerful about this is the fact that we're going to now be able to go to a local locksmith and say we need a Schleg SC1 key cut to a 67355, and they'd be able to make you one in just a couple minutes, and you would be able to get into this lock permanently. This is a really powerful tool, and I am really happy to see that Lishi is starting to make more in the more common residential keyways. They currently have the Quickset KW1, which I have shown in prior videos right here, the Schleg SC1, which we were able to unbox today, and also the Schleg SC4, which is one of their common six pen locks. Between the three, that is going to get you into many of the most common residential and some of the commercial locks in the United States. It's a very powerful tool which comes with a lot of powerful implications. If you're going to use this tool, you need to make sure that you use it for the correct reasons. And if you're a locksmith, you'll see the benefits from it very quickly. Currently, these tools are restricted and not the easiest to come across, but hopefully with time, they'll be more widely available and easier to get for a lower cost. But either way, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first impressions of the SC1 Lishi 2-in-1 Lock Pick and Decoder tool. I really enjoy it and I thank you so much for checking it out. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.